Hey everybody, Don Dabney. I'm the owner of Left Coast Classics and this is just a really cool preservation type 1968 Camaro RS. And in this video, I'm going to take you around the car. I'm going to take you under it. We're even going to take a ride in it. Right up to 60 miles an hour. Drives nicely, goes straight down the road. The suspension, braking, everything feels good. So inside here we have working speedometer, odometer, fuel gauge is working, the, uh, the fan is working for the ventilation system. Look at the radio here. Let's turn that on. I can't remember. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. The factory radio has been bypassed, I think, almost probably since the car was close to new, if not new, because it has an aftermarket underdash 8-track tape player, and that does actually work. You know, inside, it looks like the original seats, door panels, cards... All of that looks original, the center console, the dash pad. It's a very original car inside. I see, uh, yeah, it looks like the carpet's, uh, no surprise there. I think the carpet's been redone at some point, but other than that, it's, it's actually incredibly well-preserved. We got a little tear in the headliner right here, by the way, but that's not bad after that long. You know, and there was, a, there was a cover, an old school cover on the steering wheel. I took it off. It did reveal a couple of cracks in the steering wheel, but just kind of like a bigger one at the top center and a tiny one at the bottom center. And I actually just kind of think it's usable and cool as is if you're going for the preservation vibe. It's comfortable. Feels good. All right, so there you have it. If you're on a third-party website, I would strongly urge you to head over to my website, leftcoastclassics.com, L-E-F-T, leftcoastclassics.com. More content up there, a lot more photos. And all of those photos, hundreds of them actually, I have those in the Dropbox folder in super high resolution, and I'm happy to share those with you. Um, so you could call or text me directly, uh, and that's the best way to get me. These third-party sites usually have some pass-through number. It's kind of a pain in the ass because you, you can't get me directly like that. Get me directly at 707-332-8331 right here. That's my direct cell number. Just call or text me. I'm happy to send back a link in my Dropbox file uh, folder with all the photos. I'm happy to chat anytime. I've got a good transporter that we've been working with for years. A broker down in SoCal that can get anything anywhere. Very reasonable. And uh, happy to chat anytime. Uh, if you could, like and subscribe. We're nine and a half-ish plus million views on my YouTube channel. I find that amazing. I don't know how that happened. 
but uh, it's kind of fun having more subscribers. And uh, like I might be driving around in something you're not interested in buying, but if I'm cruising around in cool cars all the time here in the wine country, up in Sonoma or down in Orange County near Newport Beach, uh, where I am part of the time. So get in touch anytime, stick around, there's way more ahead. And uh, oh, and check us out on three episodes of my favorite car show, Wheeler Dealers, which is uh, we did an old 57 Ford Thunderbird like a decade plus ago, this one right here. We did a 72 Lancia Fulvia that Mike came up to buy a Rover and ended up buying that. That one I think was in 2018. And then our last episode, before they moved the show back to England, bummer, was a, a really cool one owner Triumph TR4. That aired at the end of 2020. Check that one out as well. All fun episodes. So much fun to be on my favorite car show and such a great show. If you haven't seen it, check it out. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Hey, this is my first time going under the car. I have not read the repair orders or anything else. So let's just see what we find out together. I literally just stuck it on the rack. Uh, right away, I'm seeing some new KYB shocks back here. And over there, you can see it. And I noticed that it looks like this has been off and resealed. So has the rear end been rebuilt? Quite possibly. I don't know why else that would come off. So that's cool. It's got a newer, nice exhaust system. Which explains why it sounds so great. Other things, super nice floors, inner rockers, no rot anywhere. Just really quintessential California car. Look at these floors, they still have like some factory finish you can see on them. It's kind of glary over here, but I have still photos of all this with the flash. So you can check that side. It looks great on the floor front. A couple other things I noticed, or I noticed is newer brake calipers up front so that's good explains why it brakes great i also noticed that the tranny is super dry and you know and it's really clean back here so perhaps it's been serviced rebuilt i don't know that pinion seal looks good everything looks great on the transmission side the engine i don't know we'll have to go through the records it's, uh, you know, probably a typical little bit of damp, but no overt leaking. And you know, overall, it's just a really nicely preserved car when you think about it's a 1968. I don't know how old that makes it. I have to do math. I'll let you do that. But typical, I don't say typical, but a very quintessential California car, nicely preserved. And uh, there you go. All right, so I got a really lightweight magnet with a little plastic film on the back. Just like to go around the lower part of the car. Let's see what we got. I'm not suspecting any or much because of the way the undercarriage looks. It's just totally grabbing it big time. Okay, to the quarters and I did do shots of the inner rockers or the inner fenders so all right we're looking good now check this out though little ding there looks like they, they didn't even do that when they painted it back in the day there little one right there you know this was a one owner car until a year ago and I think the lady just uh, you know at some point it's time to repaint the cars probably at the time wasn't worth a lot so you just go get a, a little paint job. That's that looks kind of loose. Whoop! Snapped her right in place. All right. This car's got really good metal. There you go. Did I just do this? I can't even remember. 
so there you go. I mean, that car's got great metal all around. Let's just take a look at the front balance. I don't like anybody getting surprised, but we're not selling a shell car here. You know, kind of crunchy, older. All right, so you should have a pretty good idea. I think the lower part of a car tells the bigger story and the more important one anyway. There it is.